Hey, I'm Alex and in today's tutorial we'll start working on the second preset of C50's introduction to programming with Python. The first problem is called Camel Case and it's actually pretty short, so let's directly read through the description and start writing some code. In some languages, it's common to use camel case, otherwise known as mixed case, for variables names, when those names comprise multiple words, whereby the first letter of the first word is lowercase, but the first letter of each subsequent word is uppercase. For instance, whereas a variable for a user's name might be called name, a variable for a user's first name might be called first name with an uppercase n, and the variable for a user's preferred first name <laughs> uh, might be called preferred first name with uppercase f and uppercase n. Python, by contrast, recommends snake case, whereby words are instead separated by underscores with all letters in lowercase. For instance, those same variables will be called name, first name with an underscore between first and name and preferred first name, respectively, in Python. In a file called camel.py, implement a program that prompts the user for the name of, the var of a variable in camel case and outputs the corresponding name in snake case. Assume that the user's input will indeed be in camel case. Okay, so this is the demo. We run the file, we prompt the user to enter the camel case version, they write it down, and then we return the snake case version. Okay, so I have already created my folder in my file. I've already shown this in previous tutorials, so in case you don't know how to do this, there are uh, detailed instructions here, or you can um, check my previous videos in order to see how this is achieved. Now, I'll directly move on to the problem itself. So here is my IDE, and this is the file I'm going to be using. I'll begin by prompting the user for their input. So I will um, create a new variable where I'm going to store their input. I'm going to call it message, or you could just call it text. And I'm going to call the input method where I can write some kind of a prompt. And in this demo here, we saw that the prompt was camel case colon. So I'm going to use the same, although I don't think you're required to use the same one as, uh, as the prompts they have shown. So we have inputs and I'm going to say camel case colon in the space. Okay, so what's going to happen here is we're going to ask the user for their input, they're going to enter a message and we're going to store it inside of this message variable. Okay, that looks good. Now we want to kind of find where the uppercase letters are and replace them with an underscore in the lowercase letter, right? Because if we have, um, let's say, message, I'm going to write it this way. This is like message. I just can't uh, write the entire thing from from, oh my god, this is so hard, uh, from me. <laughs> and we want to convert it into um, snake case. What we want to do is we want to find these uppercase letters and replace them with an underscore and a lowercase letter. Um, of course, there are multiple ways to, uh, to approach this problem, but I believe this is one of the easiest um, approaches. So, we replace this uppercase F with an underscore, then a lowercase f from. Then we detect another uppercase letter, which is M, and we replace it with an underscore and then lowercase m. And then we just copy the E. So that's how it's going to look. Now, how can we do this? Well, probably the easiest way is to iterate through every single letter of this message and first check whether it is uppercase or not. Conveniently, Python already has a method that can check whether the current letter is uppercase or not, so that's what we're going to use. But before that, let's actually iterate through the letters of the message. So the way we can do this is by using a for in loop. So I'm going to say for every letter and now um, you can call this whatever you want. I just prefer to call it letter, but you can choose to uh, call it char, for instance. 
for every letter in my message and then I say colon and inside of this loop for every letter I want to first check if this letter is uppercase so I can say if letter dot is upper this is the method in Python that checks whether the current char the current character is uppercase or not so if this thing returns true then I would like to replace the uppercase letter with an underscore followed by the same letter but in lowercase so I can say message dots replace and I want to replace the current letter with an underscore plus the current letter but convert it to lowercase so just dot lower now, this is not perfect, by the way, and I'm going to explain why in a bit. There is a kind of a mistake in this code, uh, but it's a very common mistake, so I wanted to kind of uh, emphasize it, and I'm going to explain it in a bit. But what we're doing here, essentially, is we're saying replace the occurrence of the current um, letter with, an, up, uh, with a, an underscore followed by the same letter, but lowercase. So if the current letter or character is T, we're going to replace this t with an underscore followed by a lowercase t. That's what we're doing here. And if the current letter is not uppercase, then we actually don't want to do anything, right? We only want to replace the uppercase letters. So I believe this is everything for our for in loop. And now, after we have replaced every uppercase letter with uh, an underscore and the lowercase letter, we can simply say print and just say message. That looks good. Let's test it. So I can go to my console, my terminal actually, and I can write the following command python and then just camo.py. Uh, let me take an example from here. I'm going to take first name because it contains an uppercase letter. But for some reason, my result is not what I had expected. I still see the, the, like the same string. Why does that happen? The reason is that this method here, the replace method, does not um, directly modify the current string. So if I want to actually modify the message, I have to save it again. So I'm saying take the message um, find the uppercase letter, replace it with um, an underscore followed by the lowercase letter and store it as the new version of my message. I have to be very explicit about this. And if I now try to execute the absolute same command and I run the same input, I will now say that I have successfully um, achieved the result that I had expected. So we have first underscore name with lowercase letters. Okay, so I believe that's pretty much it. Let's now try to run check 50 to ensure that all of the tests have passed. Okay, and we can see that all of the tests are green and we see all the smiles here, so we have successfully completed this problem. That was everything for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and I'm going to see you in the next one.